Hi, uh, my name is Jian and today I'm going to show you how to install the Oracle database on your Windows PC. Okay, so the first thing you come to the oracle.com to download the right version for, um, for Oracle. So, in this tutorial, I'm using the Windows 7 and the version is 64. So, um, I will install the Oracle version in 11Z32. Okay, so we should download the, win the Oracle version 64 or we can also uh, able to install the version 32 on this PC. Okay, so to save the time, I already download a uh, true file uh, into my PC here. So now I will go ahead to extract it. So we should extract a two zip file into one folder. So that means when you install a, a, on the PC, it will not uh, uh, display a, a, win, a winning, winning message. Okay, we copy this link. Okay, so now we go ahead to create to set up .exe. We can skip this step. Uh, so, because you are into the version uh, of Oracle on the PC for education or personal purpose, so you should select the desktop cloud option. Keep on setting here, and we, uh, we can we change the character set to Unicode, so that means you can uh, uh, and insert the the Unicode the thing with Unicode into the database. So you can change the database name here. I will name it in and uh, the path course I will name it in mean one two six four five. Next. And here, here is summary information before we install the Active Outsource with the Oracle DB on the PC. So I think you should remember it. You can save it into a file. Okay, so hit finish button. So now we wait until the installation is done. And then normally, the installation will take uh, around 5 or 7 minutes.
ตัวเราเอาแซโอเค so if, if we can see this one that means your integration is done so we can unlock the current out here lock For example, and then we can change the new password is admin, I think it's a Okay, so you should remember this URL. We will copy it. Okay. Hello. Okay, so if the integration is done, uh, so uh, almost of service of Oracle will be able to start. So to check if you can open the Windows service. s w i t dot m f t here s w i t is dot m f t Okay, so you fly to the Oracle here. Okay, so I think to work with the database, we we only need to have Oracle Service DB here, here, and here. i s t a r t and everything you can uh, stop it. So because you are you are installing this software on your PC for a uh, learning purpose, so uh, I think we you should change the status. Start up in here and change it to manually manual. So big. So if you if the status is automatic, that means when uh, when you open the window, this service we automatically start. So if we want. Uh, take the uh, window run slowly because uh, when this service run, it will keep the uh, memory down. Okay. So now we open the um, next one. We will open the Oracle DB console to see some overview.
So you log in with the account receipt, the main and the path code is in one two three four five. Okay, so in here, uh, the Oracle DB console it uh, allow you to uh, to view the, to to take the overview of all the system. So in this tutorial, I I will not mention the last information for you. So if you want to to see more details, you can Google this on internet for more details. Okay, so I think that's all for today, and I hope with this video tutorial will have fun for you guys. And uh, at the end of this one, you know how to install the Oracle on the Windows PC. And uh, I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial. Uh, I will uh, talk or something about the Oracle DB and creating new database or something like that. Okay, bye bye and happy coding.